Tune into Miss Teen USA this Saturday. It's so soon, and I'm so excited to see who the next girl will be. Good morning, everyone. It's Cassie Trickett, Miss West Virginia Teen USA, and I'm taking over Snapchat. Okay, everyone, so we have a big day ahead of us. It's 6.34 in the morning here at the Venetian in Las Vegas, and I'm about to wake up my roommate, so stay tuned. Sydney, wake up! Wake up! It's the second day of Miss Teen USA! Today at the Miss Teen USA pageant, we have a huge day ahead of us, so instead of answering all of your guys' questions, I'm going to have you get just a little creative. So at the end of the day, I'm going to answer five of the most creatively asked questions, and if your question is the winner, I will send you an autograph card. <laughs> She's trying to open the blinds. Why is there a remote? I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about myself. I'm 18 years old and I just graduated from St. Mary's High School. I plan on going to Fairmont State University next year and studying real estate and business. I come from a very big family. I have one sister, three stepbrothers, a stepsister, and one foreign exchange student from Hong Kong. The Virginias are back at it again, West Virginia. Virginia. <laughs>
Girls, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be alone in the downtown area of the city of Venice. Venezia is a city that was built over 118 islands. It's located in the northeast of Italy. Okay guys, so we're having a bathroom party right now. <laughs> Miss Teen USA contestants just finished up rehearsals and now we're headed back to our rooms to get ready for the welcome reception. Now that I have a little bit of downtime, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about myself and my state and some of the things I've done over the year. Here's a little fun fact about West Virginia. If you're not from the state of West Virginia but you want to know where things are located, all you have to do is hold up your thumb and your middle finger. It represents the northern panhandle. Northern, that's not the northern panhandle, that's the eastern panhandle. Your thumb represents the eastern panhandle, your middle finger represents the northern panhandle, and this knuckle represents the Mason-Dixon line. My hometown of St. Mary's is right here along the Ohio River. Our state capital, Charleston, is located in the middle of your hand, and Morgantown is located right here. When going into a pageant, it's really important for me to keep my mind focused and to only accept positive vibes, and that's why I want to show you guys something that's really important to me. So this is my Good Vibes folder, and it just has a lot of quotes that just keep me going daily and letting me know that I can do anything that I set my mind to. There's a really funny story as to why this is on the cover, and that is because when I entered my first pageant, I didn't think that I was going to win, and when I did, I told my friend, I told my friend that I would sign Rock On if I won, and so I did, and it's just stuck with me ever since. So every single pageant I win, I always do Rock On. It's just kind of my signature thing. There's this little thing. It's a princess, and it says, it helps you believe in yourself when everyone's out to see your crown. I kiss it every single time before I go on stage. Hence the makeup. Okay, so my roommate and I always look out for each other, and she's kind of warning me that it's starting to get time to get ready for the welcome reception, so I'll try and snap you guys as much as I can. Okay guys, I'm really sorry, but I did the state backwards because I thought I had to mirror it, so it's actually this way and not this way. Sorry.
Just got back from the welcome reception and there's one person I forgot to mention today. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to tell you all about it. Let me introduce you to Henry. This is Henry. He's my pillow pet and he's traveled with me since I've had him for the past four years. I got asked today how I do my hair and my roommate's in the shower right now. So I'm going to use this unplugged if I can do it one handed. I just clip it down. And after I clip it, I slowly curl, pull it down, get a little more hair pull it down some more until it's all the way up to the top and then let it loose. As after I curl every piece of my hair, which it's falling out right now, I flip my hair over, I shake it all out, flip it back up and I hairspray. So I'm going to take this time and look over your guys' questions and pick five of the most creatively asked questions and I'm going to answer them for you. But before I do that, I forgot to tell you guys about my foreign exchange student who I hosted back in 2011. She was from Hong Kong. Her name is Diana, but in Hong Kong, it's Ling Yuk. And while I hosted her, I got to learn just a couple words. One of them is Wa Ai Ni Chin Aita, which is I love you, honey. Pai Jo, which is domino. She taught me how to say run, which is pow. And I also learned the word from P, which is fart, because in my house, we're not allowed to say that, so she was a little sneaky with us. A lot of people keep asking me about my height, and I am 5 foot, and I am the shortest contestant in this year's pageant. Okay, so while taking out my makeup, I'm going to answer a question from Elizabeth Grace, and she asks, what's one thing I love most about West Virginia? To be honest, I love every single thing about West Virginia, but the one thing that I cherish most about my state is how much of a community we are. Those of you who do not know, our state recently struggled through a severe flooding and it affected 44 out of the 55 counties in West Virginia. It was great to see how much of a community our state was and how humble and grateful we are because we all came together at this time in need and helped one another. Fortunately, I was not affected by the flooding, but I know several people who were and as a matter of fact, Miss West Virginia Teen USA of 1996 lost everything. With that being said, I spent several days traveling to the southern part of West Virginia that was affected and donating my time and supplies that were needed. Lindsay asked what I would do to help a young woman struggling with self-image issues and how would I keep her loving her body? And my answer is, 
Being a person who struggled with both eating disorders, bulimia, and anorexia, it was really tough for me to get over this, but I just put my faith in God, so that would be my advice. It's just really important every day, just giving yourself positive vibes. If you have to, write on the mirror, you're beautiful every morning and look at it and just tell yourself, I'm beautiful. That makes two winners down and three to go. I almost forgot. I want you guys to do me a little favor and follow Mystic Soul. They personalize these for all the Misty USA contestants. I haven't taken it off. I love it. Don't remember who asked me this because it was so early in the morning, but if you can let me know, that'd be great because you're a winner. The question was, do I believe that the act of wear should be introduced to the Miss USA pageant, or do I believe that the Miss 52 should be introduced to the Miss Teen USA pageant? It's really funny that you asked me this because we talked about it in rehearsals earlier this morning, and personally, I really like the changes that both divisions are making. The way I see it now is you can tell the teen pageant from the Miss USA pageant, which is great because from before it was just the same thing but different age. And personally, I love, 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 love the new athletic wear and I'm so happy for our new sponsors this year and I'm so excited to show you guys what I had to wear. The fourth question that I got asked was if I could invent a new subject that was taught to all children, what would it be and why? I wouldn't invent, but I would introduce a self-defense class for all ages because it's very important that we're able to protect ourselves without using any type of weapon. Before I answer the very last question, I want to thank you guys so much for all the questions and for being so patient with me throughout this busy, busy day. This is from Amy. There has always been the controversy about if pageantry really benefits women or if it just exploits them. What makes pageantry a positive experience for women? Women are so hard on themselves, and I'll be the first one to tell you that. But with that being said, confidence comes from this experience, and I know from me and myself that I've been able to open up this year and tell others about my story of struggling with bulimia and anorexia. Without that confidence, I would have never been able to open up and tell my stories and help others who are struggling with the same thing I once did or keep them from struggling with. Other than confidence, a woman can gain responsibility, experience, and knowledge, all characteristics that can help you throughout your life. I'm going to finish off the night by telling you guys just a couple things about myself. Throughout my year as Miss West Virginia Teen USA, I've had over 80 appearances and I've traveled over 20,500 miles. October 15th and 16th is when I will be giving up my title, sadly, but if anyone wants to become the next Miss West Virginia Teen USA, feel free to ask me any questions. But don't forget, this Friday and Saturday is the Miss Teen USA pageant and you can catch that live stream on the Miss U app or the MissUniverse.com. Sad to be giving up Snapchats. But Carly Canals from Wisconsin Teen USA is awesome, and I know you guys will love her just as much as I do. West Virginia.